Hi everyone, this is Bart Walczak from creativeimpatience.com. Today I have pleasure of introducing a new plugin from uh, Creative Impatience called Pure Contrast. This plugin was developed based on an idea by James Hall and also it contains the algorithm uh, developed by James Hall and uh, a little bit, bit of coding by yours truly. The idea behind uh, the Pure Contrast plugin is uh, that we wanted to uh, add contrast or remove contrast from the image without affecting uh, actual saturations of uh, colors. Uh, to achieve this end, um, the plugin uh, converts uh, the image into the HSL, a hue, saturation, lightness, uh, color space, and only operates on the lightness channel. So how this, does this plugin work? First, you have uh, standard offset gamma and gain controls that allow you to manipulate your um, image. So offset will uh, add a set value to uh, your image. Gamma will add a power function to your image, operating on the uh, on the midtones, and gain will mostly operate on the highlights. It's going to multiply the values of the image uh, by the number here. What follows then is uh, an S curve uh, is applied. There's no direct way to replicate the effect in uh, Premiere Pro because Premiere curves are uh, standard B-splines and here I have a standard Bezier curve so I made this picture to better illustrate uh, what's going on here. So there are a few, uh, quite a few parameters here. They control the handles on, of, uh, of the curve. Contrast will control the angle of the middle handle uh, here from uh, 0 to 90 degrees. Uh, if contrast is set to 0 then the angle is 45 degree which results in a straight line. But if you manipulate contrast, if you increase, you will see that this curve, uh, that this uh, handle uh, turns a little bit. Okay, and if I go to the opposite direction, I'm going to uh, remove contrast from the image. Pivot point is the location of this point. It operates on the brightness value or the lightness value of the selected uh, uh, point. So if I'm going to move the lightness uh, to 20% and inc then increase contrast, you are, what you're going to see is that the pivot point moves to the left, to the dark side. And uh, if I'm going to move the pivot point to the right, it's going to move uh, to the right. Okay, so... Uh, the sampler is here for uh, your convenience so that you can select uh, the point. If you have skin tones or uh, something and you are not sure about the exact value of, of the point, uh, then you simply use the eyedropper to uh, select the place where... Uh, select uh, what the place that you want. Okay, so I'm going to reset um, the pivot point to 50%. And uh, now let's move to the next parameter, contrast width. Contrast width is the the length of the handles. So what you will see if that I decrease the uh, the length, the curve is going to be shallower. The contrast width uh, determines uh, what luminance range is going to uh, receive uh, the steepest curve. Shadows roll off and highlights roll off are the percentage of the length of the handle or either on the shadow uh, of the black point or on the white point. So if you want to increase the roll of your, your let's say that you r reduce the contrast width, but you want to have deeper shadows, then you will add some more contrast here. For, or if you want to get more contrast in highlights, in the highlights you're going to add your contrast here. So this is how you can manipulate the low end and high end. Also, if you want to reduce the amount of correction, but without changing the values, Blend with Original is going to make it for you. Or, or for example, if you want to animate from 0 to 100%, then it's going to also work here. Okay. Uh, clamp White and Clamp, clamp uh, Black is just for your convenience. Uh, if you, for some reason you want these values clamped, then uh, you're good to go. Now, the plugin pre-calculates the LAT 
uh, and applies uh, the LAT to the uh, lightness values of of the image. And the uh, quality menu uh, is uh, the number of points which uh, the LAT has. Even if you select the fast uh, val uh, value, you're going to uh, see pretty decent picture here. But as you can see, you might get uh, some weird values. Uh, during experimentation, I found that it can also be an interesting artistic effect. Uh, but usually you probably want to increase the number of points to whichever uh, is gives you the, the, the best result. Uh, for example, here you can clearly see that only the, the highest number of points, the 1024 uh, points, uh, gives you a smooth, cur smooth curve with the settings. So perhaps this is something that you want to, uh, to use. Now let's apply the plugin to some footage. And let's say that I want to re reduce the amount of contrast that I have here in the screen. And what you will see is that uh, the perceived saturation of the highlights is um, increasing. But uh, this is because of the nature of the HSL color space. The saturation of uh, all pixels stays the same. And now if I want to correct for that, perhaps I want to add some contrast only in the highlights just uh, just a bit and also I want to add some contrast in the shadows okay so from here to here I'm getting with the settings but perhaps I want to increase the contrast here so let's increase the contrast and as you can see the saturation of some parts is going to be perceived as uh, lower, but this is actually the same uh, amount of saturation numerically and that you would uh, have uh, if this color only was reduced in uh, lightness. So this is a very nice uh, way to get very, very quickly achieve uh, a bleach bypass effect. But also if you want to reduce uh, uh, the effect, you can also use the values of which about which I was talking before. Okay. And let's raise the gamma a little bit here. Oh, raise the gamma a little bit here. Okay. So uh, from here to here and as you can see, uh the added contrast looks much much better. And now let's clamp the blacks because we don't want the blacks to move out and we, let's clamp the whites. And right now, this is before, this is after, just pure contrast added to, it, to the image, the saturation and the uh, hue of uh, each color stays the same. We are not operating on the RGB curves, we are not operating on the Luma curve, which is also not as uh, free from uh, color bias as you might think. Uh, we are operating on the lightness channel of the HSL color space. This plugin is also pretty fast because of the LAT. Right now it's uh, a 50p sequence with a VCHD 50p uh, footage. So I have to render it, but with for, for some footage, I really don't need to do this. I can get a decent playback without uh, GPU acceleration. Okay, so this is how pure contrast works on the idea level. I encourage you to try it out, to try it out on various uh, footage that you have and experiment and let us know if you like the plugin or not. Thank you and goodbye.